Okay, so there's a new theme on the Play Store called Swift Installer, and um, it bypasses the need for Substratum, so you don't need to have a PC anymore um, to launch Andromeda, which if uh, you guys already use Substratum, you'll know that on Android 8 and above, uh, you need to launch or activate Andromeda, um, so it ties in with the Overlay Manager, in order to uh, theme applications in system uh, parts of your of your phone on Samsung now you don't need to do that so all you've got to do is install um, Swift installer which is this one here it is one pound something so it's not free uh, but it is it is well worth it and I'll go over it in a second so you'll just install this uh, beforehand it's probably worth uninstalling everything all the overlays you've got in substratum to begin with so you can see there I've got nothing activated in Substratum. I have got Swift themes installed, um, but no overlays are um, active for them. So we'll just go out of that for the moment and we'll load up <coughs> Swift installer. Um, it's really quite straightforward. There are some user uh, tips and hints that it gives you when you first launch the application and you can run through those. But I'll run through it really quickly with you as well and um, just to outline exactly what does what. So the first thing you'll see is the personalize section. This is where you set your system base theme. So the accent color, the background color, and so on. And um, you can see it changes in real time within the app. And you've got the preview to show you what everything's gonna look like as well. And you just pick the colors you want, or if you know the hex color, you can just put those in. And, um, and that does exactly, exactly what you need as well. You can also have the Android P style circular notification cards which is quite cool and you can set the transparency for the background as well for the shade um, you can also choose to have dark cards or light cards or white cards and you can also enable or disable the highlight uh, the text shadow for applications that don't um, follow the themes text coloring so for example whatsapp and so on will use black text which is quite hard to read when you've got a dark notification card background and then when you're ready all you do is click the apply button down here and then confirm the changes and it will go through the first install process to install each overlay one by one once you've done it it's all set and you don't need to do it all over again for each one so you just do that and then you'll exit and um, reboot once you've rebooted you'll uh, see that everything's applied with a theme that you with a theme style that you want you can then go back into the swift installer then you can click on install uninstall overlays and from here you can apply whatever application um, you want that's compatible uh, so you've got all the usual ones whatsapp spotify and so on by default it will always install the overlay theme for gmail and a couple of other google apps uh, what you have to do is you have to then go into the active once you're rebooted and then just uninstall Gmail and the applications that it always does it by default if you don't want those. I don't like theming Gmail so I like to keep that all nice and white background and stuff so I just go back into it and uninstall it. <clears throat> and the way this handles updates for apps compared to Substratum is quite clever as well, it's quite graceful. So it will just list any apps that you update and then you can just go in and update those individually. You don't have to uninstall all overlays and then reinstall all overlays after you've done a reboot uh, like you would typically with Substratum. Um, you can also have stock Android style navigation buttons and system UI icons. To get those, if we go back to personalize, and where it says icons, if you choose AOSP, then it will change in the nav bar system UI tile and so on. If you choose any of the others, it will switch to Samsung style uh, icons and navbar. So I just stick to AOSP for those. Uh, likewise, if you wanted the um, clock style to be right orientated, left or centered, you can set those there. Uh, this is all personal preference. You can do this as many times as you like and reboot. It's not really giving me any issues. I'm on an S8 Plus and I've not had any problems whatever uh, whatsoever uh, really have no complaints at all to the point where i'm actually considering uninstalling all the substratum stuff just to um save a bit of bit of hassle 
Um, but yeah, that's that's all you got to do. And it also themes system uh, apps like the phone and everything else as well. It keeps all the usual animations and things which some other overlays tend to remove. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually really good. So I'm just going through a few of the options here, uh, screens here that typically you might use. You can even theme the Google Now pane, but I actually like it white. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much that.